welcome to the joint circle mobility routine. Today we're going to work through a mobility routine where we take each joint individually through a full range of motion, starting from the neck all the way down to the ankles. The way we're going to do this is I'm going to demonstrate a rep and then we're going to do it together. That way you can see the correct form and make sure you're doing it in the right way to get the most out of this. A couple of things to be mindful of when we're doing joint circles. The first is to try and keep the body nice and stable with tension through the body. So if I'm moving my shoulder joints, we don't wanna see the shoulders twisting. We wanna really keep the, sh the body nice and square so we isolate that joint that we're working. Okay, so we wanna keep tension in the body. The second thing is to try and maintain smooth coordinated um, speed throughout the repetition. Okay, so we don't wanna be like going nice and smooth here and then quick here. Try and keep that nice smooth tempo throughout the whole repetition. So we're going to start with the neck. So for this, we just need to stand in a nice relaxed standing position. We want to open up the palms. We want to reach the fingers down into the ground. Okay, that pulls those shoulder blades away from the ears. And I'm just going to draw a big circle with my neck. So I'm going to think about there's a pen extending from my chin and I'm drawing the biggest circle I can with it. To do that, I'm going to tuck my chin to my chest. I'm going to sweep my left collarbone. I'm going to look over my left shoulder. I'm going to look up to the ceiling. I'm going to look over the right shoulder. I'm going to sweep my right collarbone back down to the center. Okay. And then I'm going to reverse the other way. So let's do that together. Now open up the palms, reach down into the ground, tuck the chin down, sweep the left collarbone, side bend the left ear, look up to the ceiling, look over the right shoulder, now tuck the chin, sweep the right collarbone, finish back at the center, and now we're going to do the same thing in reverse. Okay, so sweep the right collarbone, side bend the right ear, look up to the ceiling, look over the left shoulder, tuck the chin, and finish with the chin tucked to the chest. We're going to do one more each way, and this, try, try to, this time try to draw an even bigger circle, okay? As you do this, be mindful that the shoulders don't elevate or hike up to the ears, which is very easy for that to happen. So keep reaching into the ground as you do this. One more each way. Again, nice, smooth, coordinated motion through that whole repetition. And last rep, so sweep the right collarbone, side bend the right ear, look up to the ceiling, look over the left shoulder, engage with the left collarbone, sweep back down. Okay, that's neck circles, we're going to move on to the shoulder. So we're going to take that right arm first, and again, if you just watch me do a repetition, I'm going to have my right hand glued to my hip, I'm going to reach up, I'm going to keep the arm dead in line, so hand in line with my shoulder, I'm going to keep reaching, and I'm gonna finish just before my ribs pop up, okay? We wanna keep the spine nice and stable and straight. So we're gonna find our end range, turn the palm away. Then we're gonna reach back, really reach. Keep turning the arm inwards until the palm reaches the hip with the hand facing away. Then I'm gonna reverse that. So I'm gonna push back, turn the palm to the ceiling. And now I'm gonna find my ear with my bicep and finish back here for another repetition. Okay, so we'll do that together. And with this one, we're being mindful of a couple of things. We don't want any arching of the back as we reach up. And as we reach back here, we're being mindful that our shoulders stay square and they don't twist. So let's start with that left arm. So make a fist with the right arm, nice strong standing position, left hand glued to your thigh, start reaching up. Try to find your ear with your bicep, so keep that arm nice and straight, really reach, turn the palm away, reach back. As you do this, be mindful that your right shoulder doesn't come along for the ride. Keep turning the arm inwards until the palm reaches the hip. That's half a rep. And now reverse, so you're going to press the palm as if you're reaching to the ceiling until you can't go any further. And now turn the palm up and pull the arm back up and over. 
finish with the hand in line with your shoulder and we're going to go again for one more round okay reach up turn the palm away reach back find the hip push the palm backwards you should feel your triceps engage in this position here really strongly push into that extension turn the palm up and pull the arm back up and over Okay, that's the shoulder done, left shoulder. Let's switch to the right. So take this arm out to the side now, make a fist, abs engaged, glutes on. Reach up with the right hand. Just keeping it glued to your ear, turn the palm away, reach back. Find your hip, that's half a rep, reach back. Try to be mindful again that your shoulders aren't twisting and that you keep a nice smooth tempo as you do this. Freeze here and let's go for one more round. Reach up. Find the hip. Reach back. Turn the palm up. And finish with your hand by your sides. Great, that's the shoulder done. Next we're moving on to the shoulder blades. Okay, two really important joints of the shoulder. So for this one, we're going to put the arms out in front of the body and then we're just going to turn them out here. This is called the scapular plane. We're going to do them both together. As I do the shoulder blades, I want the arm to stay straight. So imagine that you're balancing a glass of water that can't spill over. Okay, so the hand stays in line with the shoulder. The elbow stays locked. I'll show you a rep, then we'll do it together. So from the side, because it's a better angle for you, I'm going to reach forward first, okay? Shoulder blades wrap around the rib cage shrug up or elevate the shoulders up to the ears pull the shoulder blades together behind my body and then slide the shoulders down into my back pockets okay so it's four moves there that we try to stitch together to form a nice smooth circular motion so arms in front of the body turn out slightly and reach so make your arms long reach into that plane and then start elevating the shoulders up to the ears pull the shoulder blades together and then slide the shoulders down or into your back pockets and this you should really feel these lats engage as you do that one more reach forward slowly elevate the shoulders up pull the shoulder blades back and slide the shoulder blades down this might be a really tricky for you it's very challenging um, at first and it takes a lot of practice but this will get better with practice. So we're going to do two in reverse now. So elevate back up, reach forward, slide the shoulder blades down, pinch the shoulder blades behind your body. One more in reverse, elevate up, reach forward, slide down, pinch behind the body. Okay, shoulder blades done. Now we're going to move on to the hip, okay? This is going to challenge our balance as well because we're going to do this without support. So the goal here, again, I'll show you a rep on the left leg. I'm going to have my left hand on my abs, my right hand out to the side for balance. I'm going to lift my knee as high as I can, keeping my down leg dead straight at the knee. Then I'm going to open the hip up. And as I do that, I want my, my hips to stay square. They don't rotate with the knee. Then I'm gonna square up the sole of my foot to the ceiling as much as I can. So it's about there. If I go any further, you'll see that my whole pelvis shifts, which we don't want. We just want that internal rotation of the hip. So here, here, sole of the foot reaches up and then I'm gonna wrap my knee around, back under my hip, and then I'm gonna go again for my second rep, okay? We can also do this in reverse. We'll do this together now. So. Left hand on your abs, right hand out to the side for balance. Right leg is straight, pushing down into the heel. Slowly lift the knee as high as you can, stay tall. Open the knee out to the side as much as you can. Lift that foot up or the heel, and then wrap that knee underneath your body. And we're gonna go again, okay? So stay balancing on that right leg. Lift up, out to the side. Try to keep the knee high as you do that. Internally rotate, pull the knee back under the hip and 
freeze. Now we're going reverse, okay? So open the leg out to the side and then pull the knee up in front of the chest. And kick back, open the leg out to the side, knee high to the sky, in front of the chest and down. You'll feel that in both hips. We're working this hip with the joint circle. This leg and this glute in particular is working really hard to stabilize the movement. Same thing on the other side. Lift the knee, open the knee out to the side, square the sole of the foot to the wall behind, wrap the knee under the hip, and again. Okay, lift the knee high, keep that down leg straight, maintain that knee height as you open up, square the sole of the foot, wrap that knee underneath, and freeze there. Now we'll reverse that, so we're gonna take the leg out to the side, and then we're gonna lift the knee up in front of the chest, kick back the foot behind you into extension, freeze there when the knee's back underneath the hip, open the leg out to the side, and lift the knee in front of the chest to finish. Hip done. Lastly, we're gonna do the ankles, okay? So, laying on your back. I'm just gonna interlace my fingers behind the back of the knee to stabilize. I'm gonna lift up here and I'm just gonna draw big circles leading with my big toe, okay? As I do this, I don't want my shin to shift, okay? So be mindful that this doesn't happen. We just want movement from the ankle joint. So, interlace the hands, lift off the floor, sit tall, pull your toes towards your shin, and start the circle by going inwards, okay? Leading with the big toe, nice and slow. You're drawing a big circle with the big toe. You're gonna to do two reps, Try to move only from the ankle joint, meaning that that shin bone stays fixed facing forward and it doesn't shift to the left or right. And now I'm doing two in reverse. I'm pressing, pointing the toes, going inwards, pulling up, out, down, in, up. Okay, that's the ankle. Same thing on the other side. Left one now, same thing. Pull the toes towards your shin, start by going inwards, point the big toe, come out to the side and up, inwards. The easiest thing to think about here is just keep your eyes on the big toe and draw big circles with it. Two reps and then reverse. And one more here. Okay, that's done. That is the joint circle mobility routine. I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.